10, 9, 8, 7, and, uh, 6, 5, off. 4, 3, 2, <laughs> They really do go up so fast with a beautiful liftoff of Electron from the pad at Launch Complex 1. It We're now T plus 40 mode. seconds into the mission and approaching max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure at the 1 minute 9 mark. Max Q is the moment during launch when Electron experiences the highest amount of mechanical stress from the dynamic pressure which is a function of its velocity and altitude. We'll be coming up on max Q in just a few seconds. We could pass maximum dynamic pressure. And there's the call that we've successfully cleared max Q. All is looking good with our trajectory, and Electron is performing nominally. Stage one guidance is nominal. AOS Chatham Station. We're quickly approaching the next set of milestones in this mission. First up will be main engine cutoff of the nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage. This is when the engines throttle down before the vehicle separates into sections, or what we call stages. Following that, the sole vacuum optimized Rutherford engine on that second stage will fire up to continue the journey to low Earth orbit. We're a few seconds away from those events and those calls will come in quick succession, so we're going to cross back to mission control now. Stage separation successful. Stage two ignition confirmed. And you've seen it on your screen there, we have had a successful MECO, first and second stage se separation and ignition of the Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage. Coming up in a few seconds, Electron's fairing will separate. The fairing is the casing at the top of the rocket that protects the satellites as they travel through Earth's atmosphere. Fairing shutters and succeeded. And, and there they go, the fairing has cleanly separated Safety and fallen away from nominal. Electron, which is continuing on a nominal trajectory. Stage 2 guidance is nominal. Electron's trajectory continues, as you'll often hear us say, nominally, with a current speed of just under 10,000 kilometers per hour and an altitude of about 165 kilometers, and we are now at about four minutes into the mission. Some absolutely stunning views of Earth from Electron's Stage 2 camera. The journey toward low Earth orbit is going smoothly so far and we're about a minute away from Battery Hotspot.
Starting throttle down on stage two. Stage two propulsion remains nominal. High voltage battery just touch nominal. Approaching hot spot. As we mentioned before, in the next few moments we'll be coming up to the battery hot swap, a maneuver that's very specific to the Electron rocket as the only launch vehicle flying with battery-powered electric pumps feeding our engines. When the first set of batteries are depleted during launch, we switch to a fresh one to power the engine for the rest of the mission. Sometimes you can see those battery packs fall away after the event, so let's keep an eye on the live feed from Electron and listen into Mission Control for the call. Battery jettison confirmed. Propulsion remains not And there we go, that's confirmation that the battery hot swap was performed successfully on Electron and propulsion continues to look good for the rocket's second stage Rutherford engine. We're just a few minutes away from orbital insertion and kick stage separation on this mission. Electron is currently travelling at over 15,000 kilometres an hour and at an altitude of 276 kilometres above us. Current altitude is 280 kilometers, speed 4.9 kilometers per second. If you're just joining us, we have had a successful liftoff of our They Go Up So Fast mission. About two and a half minutes into flight, we had main engine cutoff, stage separation, and stage two ignition. We're coming up on separation of the kick stage at around T plus nine minutes. The view on your screen is Electron's second stage Rutherford engine. This engine is the same as the nine engines that lift Electron off the pad, but with an extended engine nozzle for optimized performance in the vacuum of space. We are looking good for SECO or second engine cutoff shortly. And we entered stage two burnout detect mode. Shortly, Electron will shut down the stage two Rutherford engine to allow for a clean separation of the kick stage. That will place the kick stage in an elliptical orbit around the Earth for a coasting period of around 40 minutes or so. That event is coming up shortly, so we're going to switch back to mission control to await the confirmation. Stage two guidance is in terminal, 10 seconds remaining. Seco confirmed. Fantastic news that the Rutherford engine on the second stage has successfully shut down as planned and the kick stage has cleanly separated. The kick stage is now going into its coasting phase for about 40 minutes or so while we wait for the circularization burn from our innovative Curie engine. In the meantime, we're going to take a small break and you can join us back here in about 10 minutes as we're joined by Rocket Lab founder and CEO Peter Beck to answer some questions about our Neutron program. We'll be right back. <laughs> 